So Sam, we're here at Oasis Lords Hill. Um, tell me a little bit about your work for Saints Foundation, what you do. Yeah, so I'm Oasis Lords Hill's community champion. We're across nine different secondary schools in the city, um, trying to empower students um, who are in the, in the schools and essentially try and make their, the harder to reach students in the school capacity, essentially channel them into making their life in school as best, best they possibly can. Tell me your first experience with, with Cam. Right, so Cam came to uh, this school um, of October of last year. He'd been out of mainstream school for quite a while, he'd been in an off-site provision. He struggled at times in that mainstream sort of environment. So we have a provision here which is a little bit smaller based, so we can give kids a little bit more TLC and attention that may be struggling in that mainstream environment. And he, he has flourished, he's sort of got used to that mainstream environment quite slowly and that has now allowed us to sort of get him back to where he needs to be. I'm just really nervous for them. <laughs> oh, you got quite a good left hand there. Hello. How are you mate? All you okay? Right. Yeah. Theo, lovely to meet you. Can I, uh, can I play with you? Yeah, I'll take of course. it from you, yeah? Go Sam, for it. thank you very much. And do you see a massive difference with the children from day one when you meet them? When you get to get to know them a bit more, they start to express themselves and come out of there. One hundred percent. So like with Cam that you met today, we great kid as well. Yeah, he's, yeah. He's, I think he was a bit starstruck at the start. Um, I know. I did feel like you're not going <laughs> to tell him, and it's one of those like I never because I've done and met many people before yeah. and they're not knowing and they don't know what to do. But he, I just felt like he just sort of warmed into it quite quickly. He's very smile on his face straight away. Yeah. So with with Cam, he obviously was referred to me by Zoe, the alternative provision uh, lead here at school who essentially he was having troubles at home, he was very within himself, didn't really have a clear group of friends in school and essentially was a lack of confidence and lack of guidance in terms of where he wants to go next in school. Eight, four, five, eight, five. Ooh. You have to get over there now. So I work as the school link uh, with the Saints Foundation and I suppose from my point of view the biggest impact of the Saints Foundation is to change the narrative uh, for some of our kids. Um, there are some students that we have, a lot of students that we have, uh, through no fault of their own, have adverse child experiences or haven't had the opportunities that a lot of other students would get the opportunity to have. Um, and so the Saints Foundation provide uh, lots and lots of different um, opportunities such as tickets to games, uh, tours of the stadium, but also through the mentoring programme, we have that positive role model um, that they can use in, in terms of moving forward with their lives. There you go. Hey, there we go, love it, well done, look at that. So Sam, it's not just education that Saints Foundation provide, what else is it that you can provide for support? Yeah, so in the, so the Saints Foundation, we work with over 5,000 uh, participants through 15 different programmes, five core uh, sections um, within the foundation, uh, including education, which were kind of a mini, mini project within. Um, and then we have health, which con uh, looks at obviously older people and obviously improving their healthy, healthier lifestyles and many other programmes. And it must be important, of course, the, the fundraising and with this, this game on the 13th October for Saints Foundation and Russell Martin Foundation, it must be something that's really important to keep on doing this work. Massively. Do. So like the funding that the foundation achieve through events like the game on the 13th is so, so important for the longevity of the, the foundation's funding um, in the future and making sure that we could obviously got that, that sustainable flow and uh, to keep the charity working and to keep the charity running and making sure that we are having the impact through these different programmes that um, we have and hopefully engage with more than 5,000 participants this year. We've got a little surprise for you. Four tickets to St Mary's game coming up very, very soon. So it's going to be, be the soon. Russell Martin charity game, yes. which I think I understand you're playing in. I'm going to be playing it. You're going to see me run around. One thing, if I score, what do you want me to do? Because I will score, Cam. Marcus Rashford. The Marcus, Marcus Rashford? What does he do? I don't know what he does. No. Does that? Yeah. yeah. No, so you want me to do that, yeah? Just yeah. do that. Can, can we get a that. shake? Can we shake hands? We can shake hands on that. <laughs> if I score, which I'm very positive I will, just do that. And I'll come find you. Yeah? Yeah. That's awesome. Cool.